today I'm going to show you how to make these really easy family favorites that I've missed for a long time. They're Reese's Chewy Chocolate Cookies. And I'm excited to make them today only because um, I've re recently found that Reese's Peanut Butter Chips are now available in Australia. You can get them at Woolies now. Can you believe that? So give these a try. So I've got my ingredients assembled here ready to go. We've got two eggs. We're going to need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then I've got one 10 ounce package, which is about one and two third cups of Reese's peanut butter chips. Then we have one and a quarter cups, which is about two and a half sticks if you're in America, of butter or margarine softened. Two cups of sugar, one teaspoon baking soda, also known as bicarbonate soda, and one half teaspoon of salt. I've got two cups of all purpose flour, and then three quarter cups of cocoa. Okay, the first thing I've done is already preheated the oven. You want it at 350 Fahrenheit, which is about 180 Celsius. I'm not using fan force today. If yours is a fan forced oven and you don't have that choice, you'll probably want to reduce the temperature um, maybe by about, say, 20 degrees or so. Um, but I'll let you decide on that. So uh, then we're going to start by, in a medium to large size bowl, we're going to stir together the flour, the cocoa, the baking soda, and the salt. So just mix those together and set it aside. The next step is you want a large bowl and we're going to mix together the sugar and the butter or margarine. We're going to mix those together with a mixer until they're light and fluffy. You'll want to keep that on a low speed in the beginning so things don't fly too far. So that's the texture we're going for. It's light and fluffy as you can see, a little bit grainy looking obviously. I just did it on a low speed and it only took a couple of minutes to get it to this stage. So to that we're going to add our two teaspoons of vanilla and the two eggs. And now we're going to beat it well. Start slow and as it starts incorporating you can increase the speed if you need to. You might need to stop occasionally and just scrape the sides of the bowl if little bits of it don't seem to be getting in the in where the mixers are. So just scrape down the sides a bit and then blend again. And the next step is you're going to gradually add in your flour mixture, the flour and cocoa mixture that you've set aside, and beat well after each addition. You don't want to just dump it all in at once and start beating because the flour will just fly everywhere. So put small amounts in at a time. and then mix it well and then add some more. And just keep it on a low speed so it doesn't fly everywhere. So that's enough. And we'll just add a little more. Keep doing that till you get it all in. Remember to stop and scrape down the sides if you need to, if you've got a lot of dry mixture that's not getting in by the blades. Okay, so this is after that last addition of the flour and cocoa mixture. And I blended it uh, as well as I could, but it gets very thick. So after a bit, you'll just it'll be as well as you can get it done. And then you'll just have to take your spoon and get down in there and stir everything in from the sides and give it the last few good stirs because it's pretty thick now. So the last step is to add our bag of peanut butter chips. Now you're just going to stir those through until it's all evenly mixed. So now you're just going to need your cookie sheet or your baking tray. It doesn't need to be greased or anything because there's plenty of butter or margarine in these cookies. You just want to drop them by rounded teaspoonfuls, just like that. And Just don't put them too close together because they will spread out as the cookies bake. So I usually try to get about three in a row. And just continue doing that to fill your cookie sheet. Now we're just going to pop those into our preheated oven. Eight to nine minutes is all they need. You do not want to overbake these. They should be soft when they come out. Now that's been just over eight minutes, about eight and a half almost. The cookies do puff up while they're baking, but they'll flatten out again while they're cooling. You don't want to overbake them, like I said. So we're going to pull these out to cool. Now you just want to leave them on the cookie sheet for about one to two minutes. And then just carefully remove them to a wire rack to cool the rest of the way. As they've cooled completely, 
just remove them from your cooling racks and start putting them in whatever container you're going to store them in. So you've got your cooking racks available, or your cooling racks, sorry, available for the next batch. And I'm going to leave this open a little while before I seal the lid. You don't want them to dry out, but uh, there could be still a little bit of moisture in there. So I don't want it to steam up at all. But they feel pretty cool. So there you have it, Reese's Chewy Chocolate Cookies. Really easy to make. Um, I'll tell you, they may not look as pretty as they turned out in the picture, but I'm betting they passed the husband test. They certainly do. Mmm, give them a try. Yum.